Hi guys, to the question how to find out the noise level in an electronics laboratory power supply, this is the answer. First, I need to set up my voltage. I will work with 5 volts. But let's see if 5 volts means 5 volts. Okay, it's almost 5.1. I cannot compare the precision with the DMM against the voltimeter in the power supply. I will use this kind of test lead. Okay, looks almost perfect. Unless we have something to compare with. In the other side is connected the function generator. I adjust 5 volts DC. Now in channel 1, I will set up coupling to AC. DC is gone, what I see now is just pure AC. This is my noise level. Channel 4, the function generator is connected there. I left the coupling in AC last time. Five millivolts per division. Channel four. Five millivolts per division. They are in the same scale and the noise level of the power supply is greater than the noise level of the function generator. So we thought it was good because we didn't have anything to compare with. Nowadays technology is different and that's the reason why we need to improve and change the old equipment because it requires more precision as the smaller is the electronics component, higher frequency, less noise, less power is required for it. So we need equipment able to reduce the noise level and able to catch it too. When I did the function generator product review, I made mention of this function here. It's very important, if I have to fit a signal in one operational amplifier, I need to be noise free. If you're going to repair electronics equipment, maybe you don't need this kind of technology. But if you are going to make adjustments or to design, the answer is yes, you need to invest in this kind of equipment. Nowadays, it's a requirement. Conclusion 
this is a low noise level signal the green one and the yellow is a full noise signal so this pair of guys they cannot lie to me anymore when I made the video about this kind of power supplies I made mention you need to know your equipment and this is the reason thanks guys by watching the video see you next time